inside the church building. The gunman opened fire on them. Multiple rounds were fired inside the church. At this juncture, six persons, six innocent persons inside the church were wounded by gunfire. They have been taken to area hospitals. The gunman was wounded by a self-inflicted shot. He too has been taken to a hospital. One of the uh, church members, upon seeing the gunman doing this action inside the church, ran up and confronted him. He was pistol whipped by the gunman. This particular church member has a handgun carry permit. He went to his vehicle, got his gun, came back inside, and according to him, it was then that the gunman shot himself. Uh, it is our belief that the gunman's condition is not life-threatening. Uh, he is under police guard right now at Vanderbilt University Medical Center. Uh, this investigation uh, is going to be continuing, obviously, throughout the day and into the coming week. Uh, the persons who were wounded, the innocents, uh, the fire department is telling me that one person appears to be more serious than others, but again, all of those individuals have now been taken to hospitals. Uh, I have three female gunshot victims who were taken to Vanderbilt University Medical Center. Three male gunshot victims taken to Vanderbilt. That includes the shooter. Uh, the man who was pistol whipped has been taken to Skyline Medical Center, and there is one additional gunshot wound victim who was taken to Skyline. A reunification area for family members who had persons at the church today who are concerned about their loved ones. A reunification area has been set up at Beautiful Gate Church at 12316 Old Hickory Boulevard. Uh, that is the uh, extent of the information that I have for you at the moment. The gunman has been identified. Uh, certain investigative steps are being taken in regard to that identification, and we will be uh, releasing his identity in the short term. Could the minister have been shot? Uh, I don't know. I don't have the names and the relationships at this point of the persons who were shot. We have police officers at the hospital interviewing them and gleaning information the best that they can from the gunshot victims as they're being medically treated. Is it true the gunman uh, that is not true. To my understanding, the gunman was wearing a type of uh, neoprene mask, perhaps that you uh, might see on a skier, a snow skier, one of those half masks. Uh, is there any relationship that we know of to, him, to this congregation? Uh, not to my knowledge. Uh, we believe that the gunman is uh, out of Rutherford County. Uh, I am not aware at this moment of any relationship between this man and the congregation. But again, uh, it is very early in the investigation. How many doors are there to the church? Again, we'll have to process the scene. The scene has been locked down. All of the victims were taken out by uh, ambulance personnel, by fire department personnel. The scene is locked down. There were a number of witnesses in the church who saw what happened. They have been taken to another building, uninvolved building, on the church campus, and they are now being interviewed by our detectives. So no one's gone home. Well, unless they left before we got here. Uh, the call to the emergency communication center came in at 11.15. John, are you clarifying the evil for explosives right now? Do they have dogs that are just checking it out? Uh, he arrived here in a blue SUV. Uh, one of the dogs did hit on the vehicle. So uh, the hazardous devices unit did check the vehicle. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, there are no explosives there uh, it could well have been that the dogs hit on the vehicle due to the ammunition that had been either in there prior to the dog sniffing it or uh, that was remains in the vehicle. Did police? Uh, did anyone describe the, the weapon? So we have handgun, long gun. All of the witnesses now are being interviewed. Uh, we have uh, early information that we need to corroborate. We need to make sure what's fact and what's not. So all of that will update you with all of that. Uh, in the next in the next little while. Don, can you clarify the uh, church member who was pistol whipped after being pistol whipped went out to his car to get his his own gun, or that happens after he went to get his gun? His own no, it is my understanding that he, he confronted the gunman, and keep in mind that he gave us this story 
with uh, uh, significant injuries around his head. So he gave this, uh, this account just before leaving for the hospital that he confronted the guy, was pistol whipped, and went out to his car, retrieved a weapon, came back inside, and then uh, the gunman, according to him, uh, shot himself in the head area. Did that trick him to fire any shots? We do not believe so. He indicated that he did not. Again, we haven't checked his weapon. The weapons that were left in the sanctuary are still there. Are there security cameras? The age of the suspect? Mid twenties. Are there security cameras inside or out the church? I don't know. Any idea how many uh, parishioners? Were